I know all this. I read your dumbass leaks. I have no idea why has the fucking sailors out on. Folks, it turns out not only is Stix Hexenhammer a grifter there, a total piece of shit selling people false hope. Playing cult of personality in the background. I hope that's not what I hear. No, you're fine, Cinemas. Don't worry about it at all. I appreciate the two bucks. I'm more concerned about hitting the goal, which we're close to hitting. Hope there that he's going to save us all. He's got the info. You just shut up so I can hear if that's cult of personality. Fucking bomb. Drops. The Kraken is coming. Patriots are in control. Don't worry, my 500,000 clankers have the secret communicates from the elite and Biden and the demon rats are finished this time. Not only is he a grifter doing that, but he's a big it sensitive is. bitch. That fucking absolute disgrace. The smirching CM Punk's amazing return with your fat fucking presence. Raw's on right now too, isn't it? I wonder if I can find a clip. He just can't take it. He can't handle even the slightest amount of criticism. I don't know why this is. Dude, you called him a piece of shit grifter in like the first sentence of your video. Literally. We watched it. I saw it twice on Friday, actually. Like... How can you say that that's a, f like, oh, it's just a little mild criticism. I just called him a piece of shit grifter and made up this whole straw man argument. Because he's in his, like, echo chamber hug box of gay clankers there that just washes balls no matter what boring bullshit he puts out this time. Guys, guys, did you know Trump's up 23 points in New Hampshire? Oh, it's going to solve all of our problems. Once Trump gets the nomination again, you know, God, sure. He is just disgustingly, distractingly fat now. It's really a situation, dude. Where I honestly can't even hardly focus on the video because of how fat he is. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, look at his face. Look at this fat over here. I mean, I, you know, I have a neck and stuff, but like, what is this? It looks like a tumorous growth on the side of his fucking head. Am I wrong? It's hard to even focus on what the fuck is going on. Like, it's really that crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey guys, he couldn't even build the wall. He couldn't accomplish jack fucking shit. But don't worry, guys. It's all going to be okay. Daddy Trump's here to save the fucking day. And I'm here to suck his fucking balls no matter what he does. I don't know what it is. I don't know why he's so sensitive. Why he's so soft. I just don't fucking get it. But I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. I don't have anything personally against fucking Sticks Hexenhammer or Tarl Warwick. Or whatever you want to call him, Gretchen fucking Grundler, or whatever the fuck. I, I, and I said this to him, you know? But I have an issue with people selling this false hope, this fucking bullshit. Just two more weeks, bros. Just two more weeks. We definitely have the secret info that'll finish the elites this time. We swear to fucking God. The guy is fucking delusional as fuck. Because he actually somehow believes... <laughs> That anybody who had any sort of special or secret info would entrust it to him in the first place. Sticks Hexenhammer can't even be trusted not to leak my DMs with him. Let alone your secret info that might get you fucking killed by the elites with a heart attack gun. You or never said it was private and obviously you're some fat retard on the internet. So why would you think your DMs with a guy who you called a piece of shit grifter... Maybe that's a lack of intelligence on your part. You called him a piece of shit grifter. Made a whole video trashing him. And then you have a pri what you thought was a private correspondence with him. And you thought that was going to stay private. Well, shouldn't you have been smarter? Doesn't that mean you're dumb? I think it does.
or fired from your job or tried for treason or whatever? Does he really think Edward Snowden would send him the communicates? Does he actually think he's Julian Assange? This fucking guy goes to me. Well, you know, I have 500,000 subscribers. So statistically, one of my people would have this info. Are you fucking retarded? First oh, of all, by the way, you don't uh, even Squire just sent me a little, a little something. We have the real reason why he's upset with sticks here in just a moment. Oh, no. Wouldn't you know? It has to do with the Ralph Amell. Look at that. Man, my pause game ain't never fucking... It's never slacking. It's never slacking. Oh, wow. Let me tweet, or put this on Telegram. Okay. Then I'll upload this. Wow, wouldn't you know? Unreal. Who could have seen that coming? Who could have possibly seen that coming? Wow. No way. Uh-uh. Oh, where is that? Sorry, I have to upload it. Wow. Riders are paying dividends again. Okay, let's see. Okay. Sorry, I had to upload it. It always takes me a second. Wow. Oh, no. Hey, dude, does Kino Casino host debates? This is Sticks. This is a DM. Official, not doctored. Between sticks and fat ass. Hey, dude, does Kino Casino host debates? Me and Spencer are set to argue over 4chan and the free and anonymous net. And then Fat Fuck says, we can hold a special event, Bree. And then he meant bro. PPP thinks it sounds fun also. When are you both available? Excuse me, this was with Worski. And then Stick says, shit, man, I'm sorry, but Ralph had already contacted Spencer, LOL. I wanted to give you a shot at it because of the dumpster fire crap going on. All good, bud. And then I'm told Andy was so cracked out he didn't respond for over a day. He sent this to Worski, but Worski blew up. Wow. What can I say? I work harder than these people. Like, I don't. <laughs> Even when I was fucked up, I worked harder than them, too. That's the funny part about it. Like, <laughs> even three sheets to the wind and half a ball of Xanax down, like, I was still working harder than these people. They don't work very hard. Oh, I wonder what Sticks will think about Andy sharing his DMs. What do you mean? Sharing DMs? I thought that was the worst. Oh, man. Uh. Let's see, I'm tweeting this. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll put that up. I'm trying to make it. Sorry, I know it's thrilling to listen to me craft a tweet. But I thought it was appropriate to put this one out. 
I know it'll get the proper attention. Retweet this fucking shit. Oh, yeah, I was all over it. When I saw they were angling to debate, I mean, I contacted Spencer immediately, set the shit up immediately. Of course, I've set up about, I don't even know, 100, 200, 200 I don't know, a bunch of debates. A lot of debates. Moderated, so, could you imagine these two idiots moderating a debate? Look at this guy. Can, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy. And he's a complete fucking moron, too. Just autist sped, just no knowledge about anything. I went to school for years for a fucking political science degree. And I've studied politics my whole fucking life. This guy's just a fat fucking retard from Canada. Just complete autism. No real knowledge. No real depth. No real frame of reference. Just an 800-pound autistic moron. That's it. He can't even... He can't even walk around without a pen in his hand like he's Bob fucking Dole or something. And he wouldn't get that reference because he's dumb as a rock. I know you don't understand that reference, fat boy. Why don't you Google it, moron? Yeah, I understand you don't, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because you're a leaf for one and you're politically illiterate for two. So just look it up. Walking around with a pen in your hands because you can't even fucking just stop from fidgeting like a fucking crackhead, like your crackhead buddy. How 500,000 fucking uh, real viewers, bro? Your videos get between 40 to 60. 96, not 92, perfect, but close enough. 65,000 views right now, at best. And that's being very generous, bro. Let alone your Twitter account there. <laughs> where you fucking are getting like maybe a few thousand interactions per post. But even if you did have 500,000, whoa, he's swinging his big dick around. He has 500,000 subs. You know, there's 7 billion people on the fucking earth there. Do you know how many people actually would have access to the info that would blow everything up? A few thousand at best, bro. And the odds... <laughs> That you, Sticks Hexenhammer, one of your viewers, has that info? And in fact, out of all the people in the world, not Julian Assange, not fucking anybody, not any sort of real journalist, anybody, they would send it to would be you, is fucking delusional. It's fucking nut bar. It's retarded. But this guy wants to come out here, and it was within one hour. I put out a video... By the way, it's not I just been nailing these motherfuckers the whole time Worski's been gone. I just been absolutely nailing them. I put out those photos of fat ass looking especially fat assed, carrying a fucking man bag around. He tried to rag on me about looking like an absolute clown out in public, which is the only way he can look. Just fucking dunking on Worski every single day, absolutely having a field day with this. And now we expose the real reason. He's so mad it sticks, and it's because yours truly took food off his plate, which you know makes him more mad than anything. And he's held a grudge for it ever since, despite being a huge Sticks fanboy, just like he's a fanboy of mine. What a disgrace of a human. The sooner this guy is just put out of business and on the streets in a fucking cardboard box somewhere, the better. It had to be a really big box, that's true. They want to wish me dead. I don't wish you dead. That's too good for you. I want you to suffer, fat boy. That's what I want. I don't want you dead. I want you alive in the worst way possible. Some type of tragic medical ailment or homelessness. Or maybe you just get hit by a bus and maimed and you have to ride in a wheelchair for the rest of your life or something like that. Like, no, I don't want you dead. Not at all. Not at all. Nine minutes long. And it's on a channel with 8,000 subs. 
It's gonna get like five thousand views. Yeah, he was perfect. Sticks Hexenhammer's grift and his mental state. I saw your last comment. I guess is so fragile that within one hour he has to respond to this. I guess because it cut him deep, because it was the truth, and he didn't like the truth. He didn't like that for once somebody actually goes, "Hey, do you actually have any fucking receipts of this shit?" When you go on your QAnon fucking schizo LARP trying to tell the world how you're a fuck. How does he even do 30 minutes? Dude, we're five minutes in. How the fuck does he do 30 on this? The clip of PPP is too loud. Yeah, that's what Chief of Staff told me. Fine. Fucking hero and you have the secret info and all this shit. Somebody goes, where the fuck is the info? I'd actually like to see it. And you're caught with your fucking pants around your ankles. So you start fucking Damn, it DMing was me. way loud then, wasn't it? Holy fuck. Also, let me see. I think I can turn my mic up a little bit. It's because it's automatically adjusting my mic. All right, I should be a little bit louder now, too. I don't know why it does that. I might have to try to fuck with that. I should sound a lot more clear now, though. Sorry it was so loud. Based jacuzzi says he has volume control. Me crying out your fucking bum. And what's crazy is these DMs make him look fucked. <laughs> they make him look retarded as shit. But, <clears throat> but he leaked them. They make him look retarded. I didn't leak them. And I wouldn't have fucking leaked them. Because leaking DMs is for fucking fags. Is it? Is that the case? Well, if that's the case, then I guess your partner is a homosexual because we have the leak right here. And this is from Andy Worski's DMs. And that's the only way we could have gotten them is him leaking them. So, you know, I guess that's the issue here. He's just gay. It's for little bitchy girls. That's the truth there, folks. Why is he doing Texan that? Hammer, who believes you should trust him with the most sensitive info on earth is leaking dms like 20 he really thinks this is like a great talking anonymous bar. sent five dollars the real reason tartsky and fat yes. boy hate rpg is because Myla trusted him over them true. with the alley leaks nobody's takes them seriously that's right and milo was smart to do that because they're pathetic they got lucky because Jaden decided to go on there but he could have that's why Jaden is so short-sighted he could have done that on his own whatever he would have had a huge turnout just doing it on his own. Um, and it would have had way more credibility and would have probably moved more people if he'd have done it on his own. But he doesn't really have the courage to stand up on his own, as we've seen time and time and time and time again. Um, but it was it definitely still got some hits in. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I would be dishonest to say that. But... I think it would have had way more power, especially long-term power. If he would have done it on his own, it wouldn't have been these fucking weirdos here just making up, you know, fantasy tales alongside, you know, his alleged real tales, right? Like, it just... They got Medicare on that, he would have had less reach on his own. Yeah, but I, but Medicare shit... Yeah, long-term, though. Okay, it had short-term benefit, but Medicare makes up a lot of lies, when he's on there and you can go back and watch that. He's making up a bunch of bullshit and crafting bullshit right along with any real shit that he drops. And so, yeah, some of that stuff got memed and some of that stuff had impact in the short term, uh, but long term it fizzles out. And the more you can, um, you can just pick at it, you can pick at it and pick at it and pick at it. And Medicare is dying. Like he can't even fucking stream allegedly. Um, so he's not really out there to run much backup these days either. And you can see it other than our period in the summer. And that was cause of me when we were taking, taking Fuentes down a little bit, there hasn't been any takedown this whole year. As a matter of fact, he's rising again. 
So, uh, you know, when real competent people are at the head of the operation, uh, things happen. But when morons like fat ass and cracks gear at the head of the operation, nobody's worried about that. And Fuentes himself has said this. He loves it. They're, they're the top Fuentes critics. He loves that because he knows how stupid they are. And he's not lying. That's not hyperbolic. He knows that these people are stupid and it's never going to have any reach beyond their little circle jerk stream. And nobody's going to really take it seriously long term. That's why uh, RPG, and I know people go at him or have problems with him, certain people do, uh, but his show was a lot more reality-based. And a lot of his critiques were based in, like, reason and actual things that Fuentes said and actual things that he did or real problems or things he used to say versus what he says now. And it had, in my opinion, that type of criticism laid down over a period of time has more impact versus a two couple of fucking complete degenerates who don't really have any knowledge of the political situation either. It's one thing to be a degenerate. I've, <laughs> you know, I've been in the mode myself uh, from time to time, but I have a foundation of political knowledge and knowledge of the scene and years and years hosting this show and all these debates and everything else. These are just a, a couple of clowns. And, you know, you see now, and RPG himself has said this, but you see now how important he was to that whole side because he was laying down the, the foundational basis for the most important uh, areas they were trying to meme and trying to critique. But it was all based on shit he had done. You think they actually sit around and watch these shows or actually look for... Uh, discrepancies in areas of attack, etc. No, they're morons. They have to have everything handed to them. The best run of their show, Perspicacity and Squire, and K King of Paul even, were the ones sitting there feeding them everything. They don't have the ability, like this is what happens when they try to do something on their own. This is just a complete cluster. And in a certain way, it's like, who cares? Because, you know, he's getting some play versus sticks. But not really. Sticks did a one or two day thing, and now I don't even know if he's going to talk about it. Because I talked to him earlier, and he's like, mm, these guys are losers. He didn't say that about Warsi, but this guy. Um, a paraphrase. But uh, hopefully uh, that'll change, because he was down last week, and he's like, I don't know, which I don't blame him, because why give this fat fuck any attention? But that being said, maybe he sees that Warsi was leaking his DMs as well. So maybe that uh, maybe that changes something. I don't know. I don't know. Minutes after they happen, because he's bum heard on the internet, folks. So he comes at me. I don't start these DMs. He comes to me. This big man, this big king of the internet with his half million subscribers. Reality check. He doesn't even get one fifth of that engagement. <laughs> comes to me. And well, that's he not his fault. That's YouTube fucking fucking everybody over he should get that but he goes yo dude i want context on your clip there about me grifting well that's was what it... i said jacuzzi i i'd like to have him on anyway even if it's not about this but we'll meant see. in humor i.e the grifties never had any issue with you or warski so giving you the benefit of the doubt i'm thinking at this point the clip like what was clipped and sent to you this is a a nine minute video like, did you even watch the video? And I ask him if he watched the video. He claims to watch the video. Well, the video gives you all the context one would fucking need to understand what I'm saying. So I send him the tweet where he goes, the time has come. Many of my clankers have communicates from legacy media, corporatist, political upstarts, etc. The time has come to destroy them. Send their dirt to me and I will be targeted for this, but I will expose them anyway. So I send him that and I go, you know, I don't really have any real beef with you because I don't. I just have a beef with this retarded LARP. You caught him a piece and, of shit grifter. It's not about making money. And it's something worse than that even, I think. You know, I'm a grifter. It sticks like bottom line, bro. We're both grifters. Like, 
Get a grip. Just accept that you're a grifter, bro. He really doesn't like being called a grifter. But that's what he is. <laughs> no. Look, 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 look. The perversion of the term grifter, there, there's a reason that you almost never hear me use that word. Because it doesn't fucking mean anything. No, I'm not a grifter. I come out here and do an entertainment program, and it's based on viewer support. That's not grifting. Grifting is selling something to somebody in a dishonest way, or I'm gonna, I've got a Q drop for you, or, or whatever. But no, I'm not a grifter. And you are. I've seen your fat ass just absolutely debase yourself too many times. And just order people around for money and all this shit. Yeah, I mean, I would say you are, for sure. But no, I don't consider myself a grifter at all. And I think there's a very specific term. Just because you're on... I mean, this is my job. Just because I'm out here doing this for a living, no, that doesn't mean I'm a grifter. If I was out here selling you some snake oil or a fake bill of goods, you know, I've not been able to, to meet a goal promise or something here or there and felt like I let people down. Fucking... Crazy shit happened. Missed my flight last year or earlier this year. I was fucked up. There's some things going on, but um, that makes me feel bad. Much less um, just act, you know full on just snake oil bullshit. But no, I don't consider this grifting at all. Grifting is audience manipulation. Yeah, I think that that's fair to say. Like what casino casino actually does, right? Yes, yes, I agree with that. When I tell you things like there's thirty five dollars left on the goal and I hope we hit it, powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort, killstream.live slash tip, dollar sign sunset squad, rumble rants, all that stuff. I mean, I have a daily goal. I like to hit it, but I don't I'm not gonna sit here and tell you some fake shit to try to hit it. I could maybe tell you the guests that we're working on bringing on for the Hall of Fame level. The Hall of Fame level guest. I could go ahead and spoil that tonight if we hit the goal, which is only $35 away. That's not bad. It's not even a big goal. It's just a regular goal. So if we hit, that's right, Fuzzmosis, and I can't read that out, but yes, that's a perfect example as well. They actually did a show on that. It didn't fucking exist. That's grifting. And they knew it was fake. So... Yeah, that's actual grifting. Doing a show on a fake topic. Now, if it turns out to be fake later and you don't know, you know, that's one thing, whatever. But, like, knowing something's fake, going out there and not in a... It wasn't comedy either. Like, you're reporting it as real. Like, I, you know, I could make some leeway for satirical stuff. Like, I've come out here and done it like an obvious bit or something like that. Um, but that's not what that was. Cutar grifter. Yeah, it's just blatant lie. Satanist. It's just a blatant lie to rake in a ton of money. I don't know. I don't have any respect for that. Even the Ian Miles Chong dog thing, and people take that as fact, he didn't actually flashbang a dog. I've spoiled this before. But Wild Goose is a guy I know for years and years, and he was on that show, and he's telling that story, and I'm li you can hear me chuckling in the background. I think I finally, finally muted myself. But I thought it was obvious satire. And so I didn't correct it because I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I mean, this is obviously a joke, right? Like, <laughs> nobody's going to believe this. Now, it's funny because people started running with it as a joke, and then some people genuinely believed it. I don't know. Power chat is working. Yes, Tony. Although that might not have went through if you sent one, or it might just take a second. Oh, no. Oh, wow. This video got flagged down. Oh, that's terrible. I hate to hear that. Don't we have a sound effect for that? <laughs> Sucks you're in the middle of watching it. No, it doesn't. You think I want to watch 30 minutes of that shit? <laughs> that's the greatest thing that could have happened. And this fat fucker gets a strike on YouTube based. I hope some more of his shit gets struck. Fuck him. And fuck all these pieces of shit who support him. Because they all flag and they all do gay ops. And we just saw it this morning. You think I give a fuck about him getting flagged? I hope he gets flagged off the planet, if you know what I mean.
<laughs> but when the finder is shaking. <laughs> Uno with his one dollar. I appreciate that. Now we're only thirty-four away. I think. Yeah. Fat ass got flagged. He's crying about it on Twitter right now. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Scratch point. He's an OG. I still see people treating the flashbang story as real sometimes. I see it too. I see it too. And it, on one hand, it's funny, but on the other hand, it's like, well, I thought it was obviously fake. Like it was clearly a bit. I know Wild Goose. Like I, that guy was a really good friend of mine at the time, and we've made up since. So, like, I knew exactly what he was doing. I knew it was a whole... I've heard him do bits, just flight of fancies like that before. It was like the Megalodon of Mud Sharks, which is still one of the funniest fucking things. I don't have the clip right now. But he did the Megalodon of Mud, mud Sharks about uh, a certain person in Charlottesville. And he had this whole bit, and it sounded like some real shit he was reading. I thought it was something somebody had actually written. But it wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't. The flashbang story or the megalodon of mug, mug, mud sharks? Coco Bear says, what the fuck? That story was fake. LMI, I didn't even know it was till now. Are you talking about the megalodon of mud sharks or the, <laughs> or the other one? Oh, and spoiler alert, Zidane is not from Bhutan. And I'm not taking a shot at him at all. But that was just something that we ran with and made up on air and then it became a meme and so we just stuck with it we hit the goal <laughs> oh yeah the flashbang thing was a complete made up thing yeah yeah that wasn't real at all <laughs> you can hear me laughing in the background yeah show quality dog is the dead giveaway you're so right what part of show quality dog didn't people get the? That's exactly right. When he said show quality, because he's adding on like it's like a part of the ad lib. He goes, "It was a show quality dog," <laughs> and it's like, what does that even mean? Like you would love it any less or something? Like what does that even mean? <laughs> it was a show quality dog. <laughs> what if it was just some little fucking rat mutt? Mutt? You wouldn't give a fuck? Like it was a show quality dog. <laughs> Uh, also, we hit the all day fun. I'll ex oh shit. How did I do that? <laughs> I just fucked up the tab. What is even happening here? Uh, but yeah, Tony power chat, uh, it should be working fine. I don't know if you had problems with it, uh, but we hit the goal. Also, my phone's jumping off. I'll put the extendo up, but it's just for formalities really. I mean, somebody wants to hit it, but. It's just to keep a goal going. Um, how's Ralph watching the video when it's flagged? Well, I have it pulled up already. So, yes, and Kfer, thank you very kindly. You've been a, a godsend uh, this fall, and we talked a lot off air about a lot of different stuff too. He's been a good friend too. PPP flagged, and we hit the goal. I know it's just what a start to the weekday holiday season here on the Kill Stream, and we got Curtis Yarvin tomorrow. I don't think you'll be sitting down with Yarvin, fat ass. Uh, w, my PC won't go through. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just not going through. If you really want to send it, Rumble Rants, or just save it, whatever. Just save it for tomorrow to chip in then. Um, okay, we'll see how much of this will play. It came out, you know? The I think it'll fucking, stop in like two not, minutes. Nothing against him, but he's like, that's no true Satanism. Delusions of this guy. Anyway, I, I, I go... I just don't really believe you have secret info that Clanker sent you that will destroy the political elite. He I never just, said that. Whatever. I think the tweet came across LARPy and lame, that's all. If such a dossier materializes, I will publicly apologize. I just don't like giving people false hope. And if he does release the secret dossier on the elite or whatever the fuck, I will apologize. Oh my God, thank you for destroying the world elite who I'm sure, sure are shaking in their fucking shoes before you, bro. I'm sure. I'm sure they're fucking quivering before you. And he goes, that triggered your recent clip? Thank God he got flagged. I get I was, news tips all the time. I was literally just like disgusted that this was 30 minutes. <laughs> From 100 nations. 
Oh, it's loading still. The cringe of <laughs> the LARPies. I get news tips all the time from a hundred nations. You know what's funny is okay. First off, let me try to open this in another tab. This guy's been known to lie and false flag his own videos like time and time again. So I don't take him at face value on that at all. Uh, because he's done that with Bibble, he's done that with me and others. Okay, so it does say that, though. This video has been removed for violating YouTube's terms of service. But he's reported himself before, is what I'm saying. And they know how to get their own shit flagged. They did that right during the fight or right before the fight started last summer to try to create buzz and get rid of some of their old videos. I'm sure. I was encouraging people who may be hesitant to send me sensitive information if they felt it pertinent to do so. How is this a grift? And I just ask him, did you watch my video? Because it's all oh, explained in the fucking video. But I go, it seems you were going beyond suggesting people info. That's fine. The phrasing of that suggests- It's still loading for me, so I guess this is the only place you can watch it live on the kill stream. <laughs> that right now, you're going to expose massive dirt on the elite. If you yeah, you're right, no Coco Bears. Dirt, it seems like you're building hype around That's a yourself. common trick of his, is to get his shit flagged. Like, that's like the oldest trick in the book for him. He's a fucking loser, fat fuck, because of it. Self and other reasons. being able to deliver the goods. And I just say to him, I go, I'm genuinely shocked you even saw the video. Or are even responding to me now to tell you the truth. Because the proper response to this from someone in his position... If there's no truth to it and it doesn't threaten you in any way, would be to ignore it. Because I'm not this massive, powerful man there. I'm just a fat fuck with an opinion. And it's not going to do anything. Like you know, the mega boomers that donate to you because you suck on Trump's penis all day, they're not going to stop donating there, bro. They're not. He then says, I have seen the posted clip. If you had seen it, why are you asking me for this shit? Because you would understand what my position is if you had seen the video. It's pretty clear and to the point. It was nine minutes long. He goes, and this is where it starts to become fucked. Because this is where it's like this like pay for play. Like this is the real grifter shit. Where he goes, and it's almost like mafia boss shit. He's trying to be like this mafia boss. It is odd that what? Wosky's friend would be calling him out. Calling me out, given my long history of good relations on that topic. I was encouraging people who may have important materials- Sticks doesn't even talk about. like that, does he? It's nothing more. It's irrelevant whether or not I'm friends with Andy Worski as to my opinion on this issue. Basically, what you're telling me here- You pull that right. That I should shut my fucking mouth and not say what I really believe so that you'll grease my palm in some way or me and Andy's palm in some way. Of course he doesn't give a fuck. The whole thing is false as fuck. There's no way Sticks flagged this down or got his people to flag it down. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Or that... You're going to go after my relationship with Andy, our business partnership, which he did do. He did message Andy trying to get me fired from Kino Casino. <laughs> That's actually where this went. Nice. Because he's such a little sensitive bitch. Somehow in his delusional mind, he believes that despite me and Andy like making a six-figure income a year off this shit together, living together and being really good friends that andy Warsky there's no I, way both of you guys are making a six-figure income i don't believe that for a second <laughs> tell me you're making 200 grand i don't think so together there's no way in canada hell no i are gonna split up over me criticizing sticks hex and hammer he's that powerful he's that much of a you're right jacuzzi that he can do this shit and I, and I, you know, I say to him, if you say so about him just trying to encourage people to send him stuff, because if he's just trying to get people to send him stuff, fair play to him. 
But there was more to it than that there. It's, it's this fucking LARPing Q grift bullshit. It's promising people false hope, and I'm just sick of it. It's been about eight years of this shit. And I'm just tired of it. I know people out there are tired of it too. Even people in Sticks' own audience, when he posted this on his Twitter and leaked all these DMs, some of his guys went, you know, PPP, like, he didn't know who it was. They go, I don't know who this is. Because, but he's right. I'm tired of people promising the crack in and nothing fucking happens. But I say, I say to him, if you say so, but I think most people reading that would conclude you'd been building a file of tips over the years and you'd chosen oh, now to release it. Did I what say I was going to reveal who the Hall of Fame level guest is that we're in works, well, in talks uh, to bring back? And we both agreed that it's, that it's going to happen. We're going to do it. Now, we don't have the day nailed down yet. We don't have the day nailed down just yet. But it is Nick Ricada. And I gave a couple of hints earlier uh, during the show. And that happened to be our number two segment, him and Elijah, right after uh, I did my little opening uh, improv there. It's all improv, but that was really improv. Uh, so it is Nick Ricada. Uh, and we've agreed in principle to do it and i'm hopeful it'll be on the seventh but we don't have that set up and i haven't heard back on that just yet so hopefully one day in december though i'm hoping uh but we have agreed to do it it just uh hasn't been set just yet the confusing is that you both state your clankers have received these communications but then ask for dirt as though you have none to drop at the same time which i say in the video which he apparently watched but didn't watch because he's just being retarded here and i say <laughs> Whether I'm Worski's friend or not is irrelevant to the fact that Jack shit is going to drop right now and that, in fact, the time has not come. The For the first time come. in over two years, actually, that Rakata would be coming back to the kill stream. Um, sitting here nine days later, fuck all's happened. The time has come. Really? Bullshit, it's a LARP. And Stick says, God, this sucks. it's not relevant how people interpret my posts. What? What do you mean it's not relevant how people interpret your posts? You fucking retard? Well, it's a, why even post them then? Why even make posts if it's not relevant how people interpret them? 50 underscore shades underscore of underscore lamp just resubscribed on kick. Thank you, brother. I appreciate the resub on kick. You fucking retard. That's like saying it's not relevant how people interpret the Second Amendment. Well, I fuck. It's not relevant at all how people interpret. Where does he upload this? Uh, Kino Cathedral over on YouTube. The Bible. Sticks, hex, and hammers posts speak for themselves. They're so perfectly written and righteous and self evidently truthful. This is just but it's tedious, not important man. How you or anybody else Isn't might this shit just so stale and so stupid? Like he's running the old anti-grifter bit, but now he claims, and it was always horseshit, by the way, but now he claims that he's a huge grifter. And so what's the point? Just end the video after that. So obviously you don't give a fuck. You're not against grifting. You said you're a grifter yourself. So who cares? So what does it matter? So just shut up and go stuff some more food down your fat fucking face. Literally, you just completely kill the logic in the first five minutes. Okay, well, if it's all just grifting, then who cares? Why should anybody care? And it's just so tedious. Just this loud, fat guy yelling about absolutely nothing. He didn't like some tweet that Six made. Who gives a fuck? It's so fucking dumb. It's not entertaining. It just sucks. It's a 30-minute promo, first off. Like, also, you notice I don't do 30-minute promos because nobody wants to hear a fucking 30-minute promo. You can't just yell for 30 minutes straight. Nobody wants to hear that. It's displeasing to the ear. It's sonically unpleasant. You don't just yell for 30 straight minutes, you moron. 
You have to have some periods of not yelling for it to mean anything. Idiot. Oh, Gator chimed in. Oh, wow. Whenever Ralph says someone flagged their own video, it's like his tell that he was involved. Uh, no, I would just straight up say I was involved, you idiot. You're the dumbest son of a bitch on planet Earth. And I know you're listening right now. Take the gun out of the drawer from your daddy's dresser, put it in your mouth, and pull the trigger. Would be the best thing you could do for the rest of your life. If you knew the holiday season I had lined up, son, you would absolutely do that. You would absolutely do that. The weekend I'm going to have and the full Christmas I'm going to have after that, you would absolutely do that. I promise you. I promise you. But if I'd had anything to do with flagging the video, I would come out here and laugh about it. Also, I was on air. You it. We had the video pulled up. Okay, whatever. I realize it doesn't have to make any fucking sense at all for the morons who still follow you. <laughs> Just absolute nuttery. I'd interpret them. He's just a god beyond criticism. <clears throat> he goes, I'm soliciting dirt on sleazebag politicians and encouraging people to dump it to me. Then we creators- And by the way, the funniest part of that is Gator knows good and well that this fat fuck PPP flags his own videos because we talked about it before. It's pathetic. And PPP tried to frame Gator for flagging a video he didn't even flag. And then PPP made a video about Gator that Gator actually sent to me and tried to get me to flag it, which I did not do. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll get to that, whatever, and just blew it off because I don't give a fuck about Gator and didn't give a fuck about him then. <laughs> but he was, like, autistically obsessed with PPP. And now he's his slave. He's his bitch boy because, like Jaden, he doesn't have... A number one mentality. He doesn't have um, an all-star player mentality. He has to be the ball boy. He has to be the assistant coach. He has to be the guy who cleans the jock straps at the end of the night. Like, that's, that's his personality. He can't do anything else except be subservient. And honestly, that's a slight insult to Jane because even, I mean, nobody's as bad as Gator on that. Like. <laughs> oh, my God, the cringe of it all. People like you and me can shit can the lame stuff. Chief says PPP was, a was obsessed with Gator. Well, because he knows Gator's the weak link. Gator can be broken, and Gator's a super huge autist like him. Whereas I'm not. That's a lot harder to break me. Even if I have, like, you know, a bad day with some booze or whatever, which I'm thankfully not doing now. Um, in terms of, like, fully breaking me, you can't. You can break Gator. The lame establishment. Can he just, does he have any self-awareness of how fucking cringe that comes Do you from? have any? How fucking gay that is. He talks about the dinosaur media and all this fucking shit, but that's just dinosaur tier shit. That's like relics of like 2008 Ron Paul to your shit. For real. We're in 2023, bro. I know Sticks is old. He's like 60 years old in the fucking retirement home there. But come on, man. You're using lame establishment. Like this is this is like lower than Fox News. <laughs> For real, bro. This isn't a one person operation I had in mind. I state that my fans have such material because there are a fucking half million of them. I went over earlier in the video why this is delusional, <clears throat> but statistically, some of them have such material. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't, bro. And if they did, they wouldn't be sending it to you. He then claims you should way, see some of the crazy uh, shit. Shut up, fat ass. Here's Galvinson on Twitter, which we did an awesome crossover, I thought, uh, on Friday, I think. I think it was the day after Thanksgiving. 
Uh, so check that out. I didn't upload it separate, but it's on that stream. And then Perspicacity has it on his YouTube channel. I didn't upload it separate because I wanted people to go to his channel if they wanted to find it separately. Godwin says, real talk. The only time we want to hear Dykenstein. <laughs> Dykenstein speak is to update us on the status of Andy Worski. This is their function in life. It's a role Geek Thulu and Anal Vape held in days of yore. Nobody wants to hear a talentless 600 pound lesbian rant about sticks, RPG, or wrestling. Absolutely accurate. Absolutely accurate. Especially about st like sticks? You're really this bothered by a sticks tweet? Why don't you just come out and do a video about CM Punk? Like, you even play... That's what he really cares about, by the way. CM Punk's comeback. You heard him play Cult of Personality at the start. That's what he would have really liked to come out and talk about. Why don't you just do it? Would you rather hear him come out and talk about this dumbass, fake-ass stick stuff or CM Punk this past weekend? That's obviously what he cares about, not this. I mean, it's not even... You can tell. It's so phony people sent during the pandemic so-called i'm sorry but i don't remember when tara warwick blew the doors off of the global conspiracy or whatever i might have missed that part um if he's talking about like the co covid not killing every person yeah fucking retards could figure this out the vaccine was poisoned Jacuzzi has sent two dollars on Rumble. Thank you, brother. PPP is so scared of his former mentor Godwinson, he won't reply to his attacks. I noticed that. He refuses to acknowledge him. And when Godwinson no! asked PPP to help with exposing Cuff, oh. look who came crawling back. Oh no! Won't respond to any of his attacks. Look at that freeze frame, by the way. How ghoulish and freakish does that look? This guy looks. What's that old movie with a bunch of freak shows in it? Uh, old movie. Godwinson would know this right off top. Uh, I know he's a cinephile. Fuck. It's freaks, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, it is. God, that movie's crazy as fuck. He looks like one of the... One of the freaks, literally. And yeah, that's a great point, Jacuzzi. Scared shitless of Godwinson. Hardly ever even responds to him because he knows. And then he knows he'll get wrecked. And then, as soon as Godwinson even mentioned some help on going after P, P, uh, KOP, PPP was on his hands and knees like a little bitch. How high, master? How high do you want me to jump? <laughs> Just absolute. It's more that subservient mentality. Could you ever see me doing anything like that? No. No. Could you ever, in a million years? No, you couldn't. You couldn't see it. You wouldn't see it. Poison and felt it, everybody. Fucking retards figured this shit out, sticks. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just shit people were sending him from 4chan and from fucking uh, Twitter and shit. And it wasn't like inside, like, Dr. Fauci's assistant. Sent Sticks Hexenhammer the secret plans to genocide everybody. Klaus Schwab's secretary sent Sticks like, no. This never fucking happened. This is like a fantasy LARP on his part. He goes, you seem to have some sort of issue with me. Not sure why. You follow me and co-host with someone who has been relatively friendly. Have you gone insane? He Once is. Again, who I oh, that'll cut him to the core. Miracle Yang in chat says Ashton is Adam's gator. Oh. Oh, no. You and gator are really the same person. No. Oh, God. You're Godwinson's gator. Oh, there it is. The alliteration. There it is. Godwinson's gator. Oh. Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh, no. Godwinson's gator. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got to put the Godwinson's part there, too. The alliteration. And it's just more salt in the wounds. Boom. There it is. Godwinson's gator. We got to get that over. That's a good one. 
it rolls off the tongue. Yeah, it really does. It was yours to come up. It was actually Miracle Yang who came up with it, but he said Adam's Gator. I said Gowanson's. It's Gowanson's Gator, though, because... See, that's what I'm good at, titling and headlines and tabloidism. Bobo <laughs> Smith has nothing to do with my opinion that your tweet is fucking lame and a LARP and that you're a grifter. It just doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with that. It just doesn't, Sticks. And you trying to, like, finagle personal connections to get me to bow down to you is fucked. You're fucked in the head, man. It's a video that like 5,000 people are going to see. But here you are seething in my DMs asking me if I've gone insane. And you know what? Maybe I would have been insane if there was nobody out there who agreed with this opinion. But, you know, I say to Sticks, you know, I just say no, because I don't really have a personal issue with the guy. Like, I barely ever watch his shit. I barely ever think of the guy. But I said to him. I go That's to true. It was a tag team effort. I read it six Yang. days ago. For the reasons I outlined in the video, and I wanted to get it off my chest. Oh, you're hanging. You're behind. I think you're behind, Kafer. I was talking that to Gator. Yeah, sometimes I reveal a little too much here on air because I can't help myself. So. You know, I like to brag every once in a while. It's kind of a down, it's kind of a negative trait of mine. But if I wasn't a shit talking braggart, you know, I probably wouldn't be doing this for a living either. So, because I'm tired of this LARPing Q grift. Trust the plan. The info's coming. We're going to expose them. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Everybody's sick of it. We're sick of it. If you've got it, drop it. Whenever somebody announces that they're going to drop something, it never actually happens. It's always a nothing burger. It's always a letdown. If you've got it, let's fucking see it. Let's go. We're sick of it. We've been sitting here with our fucking dicks in our hand eight fucking years. Will you guys all jerk yourselves off? <clears throat> Calm down, fellas. It's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> and a good number of people who've watched the video and the grand total of the hour that it's been up have agreed with my insane take. It's so insane that the video has a 90% like approval rating sticks. <laughs> Those are all your people. So what he, he recorded this after right after and then uploaded it later. Cause that was a couple days ago. That was like Friday, I think. So what he just recorded this Friday and then released it today. So what's this fat fuck been doing for three days? Whatever. No, most of the comments are positive. <clears throat> I say, I think you're just upset. You got caught with your pants down because you have fuck all info to drop and you don't like that anybody called it out. I'll just add as well. I have no personal antagonism towards you. I just am tired of QAnon LARPs and the ilk, which promise info dumps and an expose by the way but if we could do some ai reimagining of like gator remember gator in the ring when he takes the mask off the octagon whatever like replace his face with ppps or some of some of the like uh photos of gator like pointing at like anime children uh and shit like that talking about that's his waifu if we could get some remixes and replace gator's face shouldn't be that hard because they're both like uh, supremely morbidly obese replace gator's face with ppp's face that would be ace and it'll get an automatic retweet from me immediately if you want to pursue that of nothing and leave people disappointed yeah not Had with the face mask no too. no i mean like after or better yet just do the ones from the anime convention with gator like pointing at his anime children and then well the children that he wants to fuck and then Replace it with PPP's face or head. I would have had issue with it. Wouldn't have mattered if it was Mike Cernovich or fucking, who the fuck knows? Who are the fuck, Dave Root, who, Ben Shapiro? Wouldn't have mattered. Alex Jones, wouldn't have mattered. No, he doesn't, Which Margaret. Styx doesn't really talk like Q people. I don't know where he's even getting this from. If he was talking about actual 
cute people. I might understand, right? Like, I might understand, but he's not. This fucking guy comes out with this fucking nonsense LARP. I would have still shit on it. Styx goes, I don't care if my tweet bothers you, dude. Well, oh, clearly, <laughs> that's my wife who points yeah. at snacks. See, uh, you're ahead of the game. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, replace. You could even put Snacks' face there. That'd be hilarious. That'd be a guaranteed way to piss him off, too. Clearly, it does bother you. Because you've been DMing me here <laughs> for like a good hour. We DM back and forth. And then for another two, three hours, he was seething at me on Twitter after this. Hit so like, by the way. Bother him. Hit like. I criticize him and disagree with him. <clears throat> but he goes, let's say I got some juicy shit. Would I be a dumbass and release it raw and instant? Oh my god. Just do it. Just dump it. Or, just, or would I make sure to fact check it and make absolutely sure it was legit? What channels would Sticks Hex and Hammer go through to fact check this shit? Let's say he got a video of Hunter Biden molesting children with Jeffrey Epstein. How is he going to fact check that? Like... I just, I'd like to know what the inside apparatus of the Sticks Hexenhammer fact checking machine is. Like, what journalists he has on his staff or what sources. Like, who would he run this stuff by? You know? But okay, let's grant him. Um, he goes, I've gotten crazy leads before. Normally, I don't release them. How convenient. He gets all these crazy leads, but he normally doesn't release them. Them. Well, that's responsible. Because he prefers to be absolutely accurate and not clickbait people. Okay. But then he puts out tweets like that, like clickbaiting and putting up hype around himself. Oh my God. You seem to have a different opinion. That's fine. Apparently it's not fine because you have to come here and DM me and damage control and like threaten my livelihood and my business partnership over a video that's just like lightly criticizing you for being a LARPing homo. He goes, you seem to have a different opinion, that's fine, but you're not my manager or something like that. I never claimed to be. Whatever you're trying to prove by bad-mouthing me, then being decent, then just insulting me again, don't bother. Yeah, you'll get plenty of negative attention if that's what you seek, you do you. And I say to him, I'm just defending my stance. <laughs> you started being nasty in private first by asking if I had gone insane. So I gave it back to you. You clearly do care about the tweet. You clearly do care about if the tweet bothers me since you're DMing me over a video that will barely get 5,000 views. You clearly did clickbait with that tweet, bro. I look forward to the drop against the elites that proves me wrong. I just have an opinion and you're being a big baby to tell you the truth. He goes, you called me out in a video in a non-humorous context. The video began with me doing an Alex Jones impression while shaking Trump bobbleheads. I, I find that to be somewhat humorous. <laughs> but it was a non-humorous context because I called for any of my fans who had dirt on politicians or activists to dish it out. I don't care how few people watch your video. I have already explained my position. You seem unwilling to comprehend it. What's crazy is he just seems unwilling to comprehend my position or understand it. You know, I, I get what he's saying. But uh, he goes, I suggest learning basic grammar and tactics before trying to fuck with me. Otherwise, all you'll get is mocked. And it's like, bro, like, <laughs> cringe of it all. You're trying to fuck with me. And I go, are you really trying to be a grammar Nazi in DMs? Because I'm just like typing this shit out to him in like real time. I don't really give a fuck. And I go, I must have really hurt you, buddy. Get a grip. You really are serious business on the internet, by the way. I'm so scared, man. And then Styx goes, well, yes, I am. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Imagine saying that your serious business on the internet and that you're going to be a grammar Nazi in DMs. Dude, you just painted yourself purple, yellow, red, your whole entire fucking body while your fat 800-pound gut hung out. 
painted shit on your nipples and you're trying to talk about other people. You spread your asshole live on air. You're trying to talk about other people looking foolish. You did all this willingly too. You weren't fucked up. Well, not enough to not remember it. Whoa. You're serious business on the internet, pal. I'm shaking. And by the way, if you read those DMs, it's clear who gives a fuck, and it's this fat fuck. He's like, I can't even believe I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> Total mark out moment. Oh, no. Sticks, hex, and hammers upset. You seem to take offense to that. Sorry, brah. Now I'm going to go do something positive, like clip my toenails, grow moss, or send the DM chain to Andy, asking his opinion. Since you seem to derive your entire existence from him, and you can continue to DM and say weird shit, Stick seems to be under the impression that this is 2018. <laughs> and that, like, Andy Worski is his best friend or something. Like, Andy and him haven't even talked in two fucking years. And the idea that Andy and I are gonna, part like, the separate our business partnership and our friendship, and also, like, our living arrangement, where we literally live together, over me criticizing Sticks Hexenhammer because he has hurt feelings is fucking laughable. Well, that's not true. He, he talked to him last year when he dropped the ball on the Spencer debate, not picked it up and ran with it. You, like, you were never Andy's friend. And you fucking were just on his show, like, what, six years ago? This is just bizarre. Are you serious, Cinemas? Like, okay, I'll play that too. In this way. And it just shows he's fucking unhinged psychologically. And I say good luck, pal. God bless. Well, guess what? You know, Styx didn't go do something more productive like clip his nails or mow the lawn or whatever. He then proceeded to tweet about me on Twitter for like the next two hours, going back and forth with me. So? And he was like saying, I'm, you're, you're getting undue attention, and you're getting off on it. You are. And I just said to him, if the attention I'm getting is undue, why are you giving it? Like, is, is there something going on, bro? Like, are you okay? <laughs> and the thing is, he posted this whole, he leaked all these DMs. And it just completely undercut his whole point. It totally felted him. Because he's the one that you should trust with your sensitive info. But, you know, he'll leak it the moment he gets butthurt even slightly about any sort of criticism. God forbid you then, like, followed up with him and said, hey... I don't really like the way you're disseminating this. Could you do it in this way? Then he'll just fucking apparently give your info to the elites and leak it all himself. It's just fucking jokes, man. And I'm just surprised at how quickly, how easily I was able to get under Styx's skin. You can call him Gretchen Grundler. You can call him a LARPing Satanist faggot. You can call him a Trump ball washer. It all just like flows off his, well, like water off a duck's back. But when you call Styx Hexenhammer a grifter, watch how he shrinks, how he recoils. I've been found out. And he seethed and he spiraled. And I just think he looks fucking unhinged. I really do. Um, I don't know like what the next part of Styx's master plan is to make me pay for having an opinion, but I just think he's a fucking homo. Like I really do. I think he has delusions of grandeur that he's going to be the one to take down the system that people would actually send him tips. And by the way, Styx, the idea that somebody would DM you on Twitter, that the feds don't have a back door on Twitter to gain access to all that shit and to know exactly who it was that gave it to you. Like the OPSEC there, you're not really thinking it through, bro. Which goes to show you're not fucking serious in any way, shape, or form. And here's <laughs> He's not serious. If it does come out, if he does give a uh, drop, I will apologize. Blue snot on the Blue microphone, like holy fuck. Out. He's never going to expose the elites. It's just LARPing faggotry. And it has to be called out for what it is. It's not anything personal against him. It's not. It's just bullshit. And I'm tired of the people doing it. That's about all. Pee. Well, you know, we were able to play that because I had it pulled up. Now, this trick um, used to work without fail every time if you had the video pulled up. It would still play. But 
on YouTube these days, uh, that doesn't always work. So no, it's not live. And if I refresh this, which I'm about to do live on air, you'll see uh, where fat ass, I believe flagged down his own video. Cause he's done that a million times. Uh, but if you refresh it, you'll see this video has been removed for violating YouTube's terms of service. Oh, oh no. Anonymous sent $5 sticks didn't get the memo that they are two gay men living together. Their bond is unbreakable. That's right. Yeah, you think you're going to move them out? Uh, let's see. PPP's cope is that he doesn't take himself seriously like sticks. Just ignore the 30-minute psychological breakdown of a single tweet. Yeah. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.